Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I want to share with you the power of the shift key. So the shift key is actually really fantastic in Photoshop. It does a lot of really neat things, and I don't know if you're aware of them all, so I'm going to share some of them with you here today. So one of the first things that the shift key does is it allows you to draw in a straight line. So that works for drawing, so using a brush. It works for erasing, so if you're using your eraser. It works for masking off, so if you're on a mask and you're using a black or white brush. It works for any sort of drawing or erasing type tool. So I'm going to select our brush tool here and show you how that works. So what you're essentially going to do is pick a point A and pick a point B, and as long as you're holding down the shift key, a straight line will appear. So I'm going to select point A here. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select point B. And as you can see, it's drawn a straight line. So I'm going to select another point here. Anywhere that you select a point, it's going to draw a straight line to. So that is a really fantastic thing to know how to do. Um, if you're masking off something, it needs to be in a straight line. Or if you're brushing on something and it needs to be in a straight line, um, that is the best way to do it. Just hold down the shift key, pick a point A and point B and go from there. So I'm going to undo this. Um, another thing it does is if you're just holding down the shift key and you start to brush back and forth on your photo, it's going to draw in a perfectly horizontal line. So it's telling you this is the horizon, this is perfectly horizontal, and that is something that's neat as well. So I'm going to show you another nifty little trick here. I've selected my text tool and I'm going to type a few words. And now I want to transform those words. So I want to change the shape of them, make them bigger or smaller. So on my Mac, I'm going to hit Command T. On a PC, you're going to hit Control T. If you go to drag out the corner here, it really doesn't hold its form. It, it doesn't stay the same shape. So to make it stay the same shape, but just make it larger, you're going to hold down the Shift key. And it's going to hold that shape when you go to drag your corner out. So that is another really fantastic tool and that works on any layer, anything that you're changing or transforming the size or shape of. If you hold down the shift key when you pull out a corner, it's going to make sure that it holds its shape. So the shift key also comes in really handy when you need to make a perfect square or a perfect circle. If you select a shape from your menu bar down here and you go to draw a square, it's really hard to tell how to make it perfectly uniform so that all the sides are exactly the same size. If however you hold down the shift key when you go to pull that out, it's going to make sure that your square is a perfect square. Same goes for the circle. If you're not holding down the shift key, it's really hard to tell where a perfect circle would be. However, if you just hold down the shift key and drag out, um, it's always going to make it uniform and perfect. So one final really cool tip that the shift key does is it's really fantastic for keyboard shortcuts. If you need to, for instance, select the B or the brush from your brush tool, but you don't want to select the brush, you actually want to select the pencil tool. If you hit B, which is the shortcut for um, the pencil tool on your keyboard, it's automatically going to go to brush. You can hit B as many times as you want and it's not going to go down to the pencil tool. You'd have to come over here and manually select it. Unless you're holding down shift when you hit the B and then it will toggle between all the different menu items on your toolbar. Um, so that works for any keyboard shortcut. For instance, if you have the eyedropper tool, keyboard shortcut is I, but you can toggle between all the different tools in the eyedropper dropdown by holding shift and then hitting I on your keyboard. So this works for any menu item that has a keyboard shortcut with more than one item in the drop down list. So that's really how fantastic and powerful the shift key is. It's really something that you're going to want to learn to use regularly. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com. You know I love hearing from you guys. You can find me on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.